To start using your iPivo camera with your Chromebook, the first thing you need to do is head to the Chrome Web Store. In your browser, head to chrome.google.com. Once you're there in the search field, let's search for iPivo. And there's a number of applications. The one that we would like to install is the IP Visualizer. Once you click on the IP Visualizer, you'll then be able to add that to Chrome. Simply tap on the blue Add to Chrome button, wait for the app to install, and when it's ready, it will indicate and the text will switch over to Launch. Once you launch the app, the app will appear in the lower toolbar on your Chromebook, as you can see here in the bottom right corner. If you'd like to use the app often, consider right-clicking and pinning the app to your taskbar so it will be there every time you'd like to use your Chromebook with the iPivo Visualizer. With the app installed on your Chromebook, simply take the USB port of your iPivo document camera and plug it into your Chromebook. Run the iPivo Visualizer and your document camera should instantly pick up what's on your desk. You can see here, I'll slide a paper document under the iPivo camera and it will appear instantly on my Chromebook. Now let's explore some of the features of the iPivo Visualizer Chromebook app. The first thing you might have to do is toggle the camera that you're using. If for some reason the Chromebook is not reading the iPivo camera, tap on the camera icon on the top left, select the drop down menu and toggle it from your Chromebook camera to the iPivo camera. With the toggling set and your iPivo working, the first feature we have is inking on the screen. On the bottom of the screen, simply tap on the inking tools, select your color, and then you can ink directly on the screen using the iPivo Visualizer app. Double tap on the eraser to clear the entire screen. A helpful feature in the iPivo Visualizer is in the bottom right hand corner. You have a highlighter bar that highlights a specific portion of the text you can drag up and down, or you have a shadow tool that blacks out the entirety of the text except for where your cursor is. Additionally, you can toggle from camera to video mode. This allows you to use the iPivo document camera as a video creation tool. You can use a document or a dry erase board to create a video underneath your iPivo camera. And finally, if for some reason the orientation of the document camera is off, tap on the rotating tool and you can rotate the orientation of anything on your desk. You can also change the resolution if needed.